Hey guys, hope you're doing fine. Today I'm going to show you the e-commerce app that I built using the React Native as the front end and uh, Flask as the back end. I've used MongoDB uh, for the database. So I will first show you the demo and then uh, we will head to the installation instructions as to how to set up the project and how to add data to the backend. So check it out. All right, hope you like the demo. Uh, let's set up the project. Once you are done cloning the repository, the first thing that you're going to do is uh, set up the backend. So go to the backend folder and then uh, you will see a readme.txt file. Just execute each and every command. All right, now that all the uh, necessary libraries have been uh, installed in the backend, it's time to create the environment file. So create a .env file in your backend folder and uh, paste these three keys uh, in there and uh, fill up uh, with the necessary values. All right, uh, we are done with uh, setting up the backend. Uh, let's set up the front end. Go to the front end folder and uh, just say yarn or npm install, uh, which will uh, install all the necessary uh, libraries. Cool, uh, now we are done setting up the back end and the front end. Uh, just go to app.py and hit play to run the server. Now that as back end server is running, go to front end folder and uh, just say yarn yeah, start to uh, run the front end. Okay, let's see whether everything is working fine. All right, we are in. Uh, it means everything is working fine. Uh, let's now uh, see how to actually add data to the backend. Uh, so first thing that you're going to do is uh, register. You can do it from the app or from the postman. Uh, once you're done registering, just log in. After login, uh, you'll be getting a JWT token, which you need to copy. Uh, so that you can use that token uh, to the subsequent request to add categories and products. Uh, let's see how to add categories now. Uh, just uh, paste the URL and then keep a put request and add the token in the uh, auth tab. 
and then also uh, do the same uh, for the products uh, you can find uh, the sample data in the products.json and categories.json in the front end folder so that's it for this video guys please like share and subscribe thank you